man, but I gotta get hydrated. This gym is hot. I'm already sweating through my jersey. As you can see, gotta get it all back in before the game. For Tyler Davis, taking care of his body hasn't always been a priority. In middle school, he was built like an offensive lineman, but his aspirations lied elsewhere. Well, when I moved to Texas, like I was the biggest dude there. Like I was in eighth grade, I was probably like six, four, six, four, three, fifty. He was playing basketball in um, middle school and high school as well, uh, while he was playing football. And uh, he told me, I really just want to play basketball. My thoughts were, I don't know about this basketball thing. You're pretty big. Uh, I don't know if you can uh, run up and down the court as fast as everybody else, but um, if, if that's what you want to do, that's fine. The team called the Texas Titans picked me up. As a practice player, they had a lot of you know people on their staff that were good people, and one of them was a nutritionist. And he was the first person, you know, to kind of like show me, you know, different ways to eat and how it can benefit my body and stuff. So once I started to learn from him and um, my mom started to pick things up too, I just started to really change my diet because I wanted to be as good as the guys on my team. And from that moment forward, Tyler made a choice and a change. In just a year, he lost 50 pounds and college scouts started to take notice. There was so much more attention, and with his weight loss and the ability to do so much more, he really got on the map that year. And just um, in one summer, he was already the number six center in the nation. Nobody knew who he was before that. And it didn't take long for Texas A&M to get to know Tyler Davis. He came up one weekend unofficially with his mom you know, after July and, you know, kind of fell in love with, you know, a and You know, obviously he liked the coaching staff, but I think his relationship with Coach Darby uh, was probably more important than anything because he knew that Coach Darby could continue to help him um, change his body and, and become the best player he could be. Hey, listen, we're not going to be out here a long time today. Today's kind of a shoot, recover, get our mind right. Make this spread count, okay? Make the warm-up count. Let's get our bodies back going towards Tuesday. Nutrition was a big thing for me, you know, wherever squad I wanted to go to, I had to have a great strength and conditioning coach. But once I got with Darby, we just clicked. His level of work, it kind of just matches mine. Like, I like to work extra. I like to do the extra things that make me better than other people that aren't doing the extra stuff. And that's where his mentality is. It's all about the extra work. It's all about how hard you're going. With Tyler, his mind is always churning. And so those are the kind of guys you love. They're, they're searching to get better, and you're searching for ways to help them get what they want. Game day, baby. That pregame meal in, man. Tyler has put a lot of extra work in his diet since he's been at a and A lot of the credit going to the bond he's formed with team nutritionist Blair Hitchcock. She's always on me every meal I have. She's kind of looking over my shoulder to see what I have. Um, I can call her anytime if I don't know what to eat. Um, just those little things that make a big difference so that I can stay on track. Are these sweet potatoes? Yeah. What? Sweet potatoes? I can do a sweet potato, but game days, I prefer the bacon, you know? That's the energy I need, those carbs. So when he came to me, he was like 290-ish, 285, 290-ish, and um, now he's around like 265, 270, but he's a lot stronger, um, a lot better in shape. Just a little bit. Are you a chef or am I a chef? <laughs> Tyler is awesome in the sense of like, he always wants to learn. Like he always wants to get better. I want some honey mustard. You have to keep him on track sometimes, you know, you have to be like, okay, Tyler, that probably wasn't the best option, you know, but he knows and he wants to get better and he always wants to improve. Whenever someone has a birthday on the team or just at the gym, you know, they bring in a big, a big cookie cake, you know, everyone's cutting the cake, getting pieces and Tyler's like, I'm passing because he knows what he has to do. He has to stick to the strict routine that he has. That's, you know, the kind of mentality I've been able to build up and also has to do with me being around people like Darby and Blair. I didn't come in, you know, just ready to do all the little things the right way. I was still making those little mistakes and I still do. I still have a long way to go. Honestly, Tyler has one of the best work ethics I've ever seen in a person. And I don't think people know that. Like, I don't think they see what goes on, like, outside of the games. They don't see how he works. They don't see how, like, he'll call me at 9 at night 
hey, can you take me to Reed so I can shoot free throws? Like, he has the best work ethic. You show me how many 6'10", 265-pound or 270-pound guys that can play with the energy that he plays with night in, night out, day in, day out, you know, whether it's practice or a game, and, you know, I'll show you a pro. I think one day, you know, if he continues to create these good habits and stick to them and continues to get better, you know, it'll be another guy from A&M that will play in the NBA.